Durban, first test between South Africa and Australia, and the Aussies are absolutely hammering the protests out in the field. It is not going well. This is day four, though. The protests are fighting back slightly, and there seems to be a bit of a skirmish in the stairs leading up to the change room. Lungi and Gidi at the top of the stairs looking on. Aussie players seem quite relaxed. Oh, there's David Warner. David Warner is having a go. He was having a go at Quinton de Kock on the field. They were exchanging words. It's now spilled over into the stairwell. So Warner's all fired up. Rest of his players, there's Usman Kawaja, he's pushing him back, seems to have been done. There's Quinny further down the stairs saying nothing, but now Warner wants more, he's come back and... <laughs> why, why is Fafti Pussy in a towel? <laughs> anyway, Warner's now been pushed away, Quinny's gone back to the change room, Kokisa Rabada, he's in there as well. It seems like the Aussies don't want anything more of this. Also, they probably don't want a skirmish to result in Faf losing his towel. I don't think anybody wants to see that right now. Jokes aside, this all seems quite pathetic. Apparently, David Warner heard something quite personal by his girlfriend, now wife. Uh, apparently, back in the day, she gobbled off Sonny Bill Williams or something or other. Anyway, so Quinny de Kock, he doesn't seem the most confrontational of people. Warner, on the other hand, well, he's got form, as, they say, as the Aussies say. He's got form with this kind of stuff. He's always in people's faces about nothing. And uh, his teammates don't seem bothered to defend him. If it was something so horrible, don't you think his teammates would have then taken Quinny on as well? But they all just seem like they wanted to shut him up and go have a cup of tea. Yeah, I mean, look, ultimately, David Warner must be in the wrong here. But I would love to know what he heard that made him so fired up. The actual wording, that is.